Hi everybody, today we will make an egg incubator for hatching eggs. We need a piece of extruded polystyrene that is usually used for wall insulation. You can use styrofoam as well, but the extruded polystyrene is stronger. Use a polymer adhesive to glue it together. You also need a metal angle and some furniture corners, a temperature controller with gradual fading and light bulbs. You also need light bulb sockets and a fish tank thermometer as that is one of the most accurate thermometer types. We also need two containers filled with water to keep the humidity level high in the incubator. Make the bottom part. Its interior size should be 50 by 50 centimeters. Make 1.5 by 1.5 centimeter grooves on each side of the bottom part. Assemble the box. The height is 30 centimeters. Make grooves like these on every part. Glue it all and press it together. Take another piece of styrofoam. I have a different color here, but it's the same material. Cut it into 46 by 10 centimeter rectangles. Make their edges ridged like this. Glue them together and cut the metal angles into 10 pieces. Place the angles like this. You can store up to six to seven eggs on an angle piece like this. The total number of eggs that can fit into the incubator is 60 to 70. Cut the angle to make four parts, each 50 centimeters long. Make two holes for the light bulb sockets at each end of the parts. Cut into it like this and bend upwards. Adjust the sockets there. Fasten the heater with bolts here. Connect all the bulbs in parallel and solder all the wire ends. Make ventilation holes in both the top and bottom parts of the incubator. Make six holes in each part. Use an 8 millimeter bit for the drilling. Attach the legs with glue and the incubator is ready. Set the temperature controller indicator in the middle of the incubator. Use the humidity and temperature meter. The links for it and all other equipment used are in the video description section. Check how the incubator works. Place several thermometers at different points inside the incubator and turn it on. There are 70 quail eggs here. I've marked each egg with an X sign. Put them into the incubator. The eggs are stored in the incubator for 10 days now. The temperature is kept at 100.5 degrees Fahrenheit. While the eggs are hatching in the incubator, I made this robot. There is a video tutorial on how to do it. How to make a robot with an Arduino. Check my channel to watch it. It's been 16.5 days now, and there are some chicks being born already. Look at the three of them here. And the fourth one is hatching from its egg right now. I've been rotating the eggs every morning and evening, except for the last two days. I had to make this box for them to separate the older ones from the newborns. The older ones that hatched out six hours ago attacked the little ones. When the newborns dry, I will unmount the wall separating them from the older ones so they can all eat and drink together. Look at that egg in the middle. The baby quail needs to crack the eggshell with its legs, push through, and get outside to be born. Here is another one. It is almost open. Today is the 18th day. There are 50 chicks that hatch from 73 eggs. There are some eggs left in the incubator. Some of them are bad for hatching, but it's difficult to know from the start. You can see some are still pipping. I've been keeping the humidity level at 70 to 80 percent since the 15th day. You can do it like this. This is the firstborn baby quail. Let's give it a name. I want to know your suggestions. I think they'll be funny and cool. Write them in your comments below. If you enjoyed watching the video, click like and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of interesting tutorials for you coming up soon. See you!